Hey everyone and welcome to the channel. My name is Ash and I'm here with a review of Dungeons of Sundaria on Xbox. Now this released onto the Xbox Series X and S consoles on the 12th of December 2023 and it's developed and published by Industry Games who are kind enough to send me a copy for this video review. Now I honestly had a lot of fun playing this game. It does have some issues and it is perfect by far but it's a very fun dungeon sort of like exploring adventure game where you can play either solo or with up to three other friends locally or online which I think is fantastic to work your way through a variety of different huge dungeons and when I mean huge I mean they're absolutely massive there's looting to be done there's tons of items weapons clothing armor to find there's multiple difficulties for each of these dungeons and there's all sorts of other things to find. Now graphically and like sounding this game is just sort of okay. It looks like a like a classic RPG or an MMO from sort of like the early 2000s in terms of like the sort of style to it but every item you pick up, all of the weapons, all of the inventory like your armor pieces and stuff like that they're all unique and they change your appearance when you start the game you can create your own character so there's a variety of different classes and characters and races to you so you can be a like a lizard man you can be a elf a human you can then be like a cleric you can be a warrior all that sort of things you can create a character to your playstyle. Do you want to be a wizard that shoots from afar? Do you want to be more stealthy? Or do you just want to run in and hit things? Now I was more of a run in and smack things. I normally go for like the ranged attacks and stuff, but I fancied a bit more of a challenge. So I went with the champion, which was basically the warrior class. Now, story-wise, there isn't much to the story. It sort of just chucks you in. And you start off in this little hub town. The town itself, you can use to pick up a variety of side quests, trade items, craft things and stuff like that. There's also a limited time, there was like a snowman event where you could trade specific collectible items for things with this like talking snowman. Now, I like that there is this little hub. It's not very easy to use, it's quite confusing. You're sort of dropped in and you just have to sort of get on with it and figure it out. And, and the side quests aren't necessary for like the actual dungeons they just give you something extra to do you can then pick from a variety of different dungeons now there's eight dungeons in the game now each of these dungeons has a standard normal there's a hard mode and a nightmare difficulty and it tells you what sort of levels this requires or you should be at to play them now once you get started you have a few abilities and your sort of standard weapon and armor once you get into the game you will get XP from killing enemies, you'll find new armour from looting people, from finding treasure chests, secret rooms, that, that's one thing I like about these dungeons, they're huge, they're varied, like the first one you start off and you go into like a crypt and then you're out of a crypt and then you're fighting like a rat king boss and then you're fighting like cultists and stuff, it's really cool in terms of like how much content and variety there is in the enemies and bosses. and. Their bosses are all quite unique in how you defeat them. There was one where there was like a mini boss and it was two ghosts and you had to basically incapacitate like incapacitate them, then destroy their tomb and then kill them off. And but if you didn't destroy the tomb they wouldn't die and you just ended up in like a perpetual loop. Now, as you get XP you'll level up. Leveling up will give you more health and new abilities. You can also, once you get to like level 20, you get access to even more sort of special abilities and stuff like that as well. And it's really fun. It's very simple, it's very straightforward. It feels like you're playing an MMO, in my opinion, like just like the dungeons of an MMO, like from World of Warcraft, Lord of the Rings Online, that sort of stuff. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. Now, each of these dungeons will probably take you a good hour or so to get through, if not longer, uh, depending on if you're playing solo with friends, what difficulty you're playing on. And like I say, some of the bosses are quite tricky, even on normal difficulty. 
Now you can go back and replay these dungeons at any time. Uh, once you've obviously finished on like normal, you can then redo them on uh, hard or nightmare and stuff like that. Obviously, doing that gives you more um, like loot, and you can carry tons and tons of loot as well. You can. Uh, equip stuff on the fly when you're in the game and then you can sell them to a variety of NPCs as well. Now it does suffer from a few performance issues there was uh, slow down multiple times while I was playing it didn't ruin the game for me I'm never that big of like a, a stickler to like slow down or anything like that at odd times but to say the game does look dated um, like a, an older MMO and this is built or like it's only coming out on next gen I do feel like um, this this could be ne like negated with a bit of TLC and a bit of like touch up and stuff like that but I had a lot of fun playing it it was different I wasn't expecting to enjoy it as much as I had I thought it'd be more of a slog but I've actually been playing quite a lot of it solo as well now achievement wise it's pretty straightforward you basically get them for completing the dungeons on like normal hard nightmare that sort of thing so there's no sort of really hidden achievements it's just basically replaying the game over and over uh, try different characters try it on hard modes do you know what I mean it gives you a bit of a challenge so this game like I say is available right now it's priced at 11 99 which I don't think is a bad price at all it's enjoyable and there's a lot of gameplay like hours for that price you've just got to obviously realize it's not going to look like current gen it does play and feel very old school and i kind of like it for that but the problem with it at the moment is the slowdown in game it needs a fix it needs a patch or two just to sort of bring it up to sort of usable levels i have seen a lot of reviews on the xbox store about the online suffering lag and stuff like that i didn't see anything like that but i was playing it on my own so i i can only go off my experience and apparently like i say it's um it supports 4k resolution hdr 10 ray tracing up to 120 fps on the series x and s consoles but obviously that isn't fixed like there are severe slowdowns at time but the core gameplay is nice i like the gameplay loop it is fun and it, it harkened back to like an old school feeling of playing like mmos with friends and stuff and doing dungeon runs and like that's cool having that and at a price that's not super expensive i could see me playing this quite a bit but anyway guys hit that like button hit subscribe and we'll see you soon for more gaming content Bye for now.